Diogo, you've obviously you just talked about it there. I won't ask you to go over it again, but is this the light at the end of the tunnel now? Can you now see how much this means to you? And is, say, is this the, the recovery? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's what I needed, you know, because I've been like I've been playing well for the, you know the first two or three years that I've been in the PDC, even not having the tool car. I managed to win Challenge Tour and keep myself in the Pro Tour, so I did well in the Q School two years ago. And, um, you know, and I just couldn't get a wing. I just didn't wing, I just didn't run uh, under my belt. And to keep losing 6-5, 6-5, 6-4, 6-5, just one break of throw, it was a nightmare for me. Um, I've been out of, I've been out of, uh, to be honest, I, I didn't get my tool card for one point in the year that I went to, uh, European tour and because one double in the year before that and these two years I didn't go to the UK Open on a comeback you know on the time they they had a uh, UK Open qualifiers and that really hurt me you know because I was nearly there but not making it you know and you know, I was just getting disappointed because I knew I was good I knew I was playing well we're just not getting the results on the my belt and this this result was, you know, top of everything. I think that's why I play darts is to get moments like that, really. And uh, I should put in my mind, and that was just to prove myself how good I am, and uh, and I can do it over and over again. In a year that mental health has been talked about so much and such an importance, what you just said there, can you be a role model to these youngsters that are struggling as well, and they can look at you and how dark you've been to come out the other side and they can draw the same strength from you? You know what, uh, I think I was playing Molders online and um, and I had a, a bad day. I think I went I went to the hospital to stay with my daughter and I was awake all day, all night and uh, come back just to play Molders because my wife had a cut in, the, in her salary so I had to do that. To, to try to compensate the the, the money we we've been losing, and um, on that day, I uh, finished the day. I messaged my manager and said, "You know, I quit." And uh, I was not talking about my, my darts. And uh, uh, and uh, at the same time, I messaged Alan Warner and I said, "Mate." I need help, and uh, Alan introduced me to his sporting chance, and I've been in therapy for two or three months, and they helped me a lot. So I I wish I I had open open up uh, before, you know, maybe a month before that when everything was was happening to me. I just, I just want to tell everyone that the sooner you open up, the better it is. You know, don't, don't be afraid, really. Don't be afraid to, to, to open up to anyone. Look for specialists, you know, and, uh, and believe them, because what they did to me was, was amazing. Okay, pleasure, mate. Well done. Thank Cheers, you very much. Mate. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So good. Just one short question. How important was it for you today that there was an audience actually in these difficult times there to support you? Um, yeah, it was good. They were not supporting me in the beginning, but I think when I opened two sets up, um, I managed to turn it around and uh, to have them behind me in the last set was, was something special, really. It means, it means a lot. Will it, be, will it be more difficult for you as a dance? Probably now that from tomorrow on they don't know nobody in there, how will be the atmosphere for you? I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm here to play my darts, I'm here to win the, the next game and if there is no crowd, there is no crowd. I played the World Cup with no crowd. You know, Glenn as well played a lot of tournaments with no crowd so he knows what to expect. And to be honest, I think it would be even worse tomorrow because Glenn is even more, uh, you know, a crowd guy than Steve. So. It might be on my side that that one. Uh, I'm trying to think to to see the the things in a positive way from now on. Really. Thank you. Good.
Diogo, I remember you played Peter Wright in your first appearance at the Alexandra Palace. How much do you think you've you've grown as a player and a person in those four years? It was tough, really. Um, it was a long journey, but I think I'm more mature now. After everything I've been through to the last few years, uh, it kind of um, hit me that that is not the most important thing in my life. It It is my dream, but it's not the most important thing. It doesn't, if I, if, even if I don't make it, if I, if I, even if I never get my tool card, uh, it doesn't mean I'm not a good person. I didn't try my best, and I think that was the most important lesson I had this last year. That my results in the dark ball doesn't uh, doesn't match the person I am. So as long as I keep being myself, that's that's the most important thing. Thank you, Diego. Cheers, mate. Diego.